Right, uh, as you see on the note sheet, we're going to start uh, with reflection and simple uh, flat mirror information. And, you know, there is a law of reflection that the uh, angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And the students know that, but they, they have to be reminded that they know that. And one way we do this is just simply bounce a tennis ball off the wall and to get them started. And it might be as simple as, let's see, we have in the back there, my, uh, my cataracts are acting up there. Does that say Steve? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to bounce this off the wall to you, okay? Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to stand about in, in, in front of your row. And we do this with the students, and I'm going to say, you see that maroon picture that right there where the, uh, the waitress is holding all those heavy? I'm going to throw the ball right there and get it to Steve. Agree? Does everyone agree? No. Okay. <laughs> they already know. I mean, they know intuitively, well, that's just not going to work. So if, if you guys have a point, where should I hit? The wall to get it to see the cursor. Where the what? The cursor on the slide, slide rule. <laughs> cursor on the slide rule. We need to stop the cursor. Yeah. Oh. Now that was Doc Guy's slide rule. You should have seen the size of his backpack. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, don't encourage me. The battery's not even. I think it's right up there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a horrible ruler. We've tried to do it. There. You know, use it as a ruler. <laughs> so we're going to try, all right? Yeah. You're ready to catch? And. Yeah. 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 Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got multiple reflections. Multiple happen later. reflections work. <laughs> right? So students know, and then we say then that the angle in equals angle out, and they're. One of the other things that we teach kids is we teach them that all light rays are reversible. So if a light ray goes in one way, it's going to come out the other way. So the law of reflection, angle, angle in equals angle out, obviously um, angle out would then equal angle in. But uh, that's not intuitive to kids. They don't, uh, they don't realize that that's true. So one of the best ways that we uh, found to teach that is by bringing out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got this cheap laser tag gun. And when you shoot it, it, it makes a nice sound. So Tom, if you can hold that for me, he'll be my target. And then I can come over here. Wow. <laughs> Trying to point at the lights. I think it might be. Yeah, yeah there we go. Just turn it off. <laughs> we just, there we go. Alright, well, I don't know if this is going to work. So if you aim it at it, it should hit. But you can do it a little better by saying you're a uh, skilled artist, you know. You've been uh, in some laser tag tournaments. And uh, you've learned how to master the. Uh, the mirror, and of course, if you just aim right at the laser at the target, you'll hit it. Because as the light comes in from the target, it's going to come in, hit the uh -huh. mirror, bounce back to your eye, right? Well, if you just aim the laser along the same way, the laser along the same way, it'll follow that same path and go right back to the uh, target. Uh, we want to talk about locations of images. So right there was basic law of reflection, but something that very something that very few students know is where is that image located when we're in a flat mirror. I'll have Yeah, we'll have people. Uh, we'll and, you know, we, we teach them to do this with the lab, so let's just put an object in front of the mirror. And very simply, we use a nail. You'll see, uh, you'll see this momentarily. We use just a little nail, so it's very small, but it, it's got some size <laughs> to it. And they just aim down the edge of a ruler, so if you guys would point, point at the image. So not at the object, so point at the image. And all we have to do is we have to just bring these lines until they intersect. And that point is the location of the image. Okay, very non-intuitive, and this will be part of your... We found, though, after a few years, that students have a tough time doing the aiming lines. Because we think that kids live on the streets, you know, in the in the hood here of Mount Prospect. <laughs> you know, so they're they're used to carrying around their guns. I don't think well, there's like three students in all the whole school that hunt. You know, if you go a little farther out, you know, they might get a few more kids that hunt and would understand what it means to aim something. But uh, it's so weird how kids have no idea what it means to aim. At, uh, yeah, so you, you, we really have to teach them to close one eye and to look through the other eye down the edge of the ruler to, until they see the image. And then another problem we found that they were doing is because they were using the ruler, they were trying to get the image of the ruler to touch the image of the object. Well, 
they're just going to knock over the audio. Right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you first start, yeah, now how many of you have experienced that? <laughs> but your first few years teaching, you're thinking, what in the world are you doing? So we decided to show them a movie of what it means to perform in the, the aiming line technique. And so you guys are getting this if you want to show it to your students. That way, you know, if a picture's worth a thousand words, I think a movie's worth a million. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Yeah, and it really helped, uh, you know, uh, cure some of those mistakes that they were making there. So we found a simple movie, it takes 18 <coughs> seconds to show them. Now they know exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, the other problem that they'll do with this lab is they won't keep the mirror on the line. And you want to make sure that they put the, if you, we draw a line on the lab, and we have this you lab. No, why don't we give them that lab? Yeah, we're yeah. going to give you this lab that we do with our, this is how we do it with, uh, with the regular physics students. And uh, they draw lines on a piece of paper, then they remove the mirror, and they keep drawing lines until they intersect, and that is the image location. And they should be finding out that the distance the image <coughs> is in front of the mirror is equal to the distance of the, the image lines. So they've got, can you give me some uh, light here? <laughs> nice. So here's their sheet of paper, and here's the mirror line, and then they've done, this is where they see the image. We have them just dashing behind. This is, this is the image line. Back up, why don't you show them the object? Right, and then have, uh, this is an aiming line. Right. This is an aiming line. Okay. This is an aiming line, I suppose. They do this first. And then they remove the mirror, and then they extend the lines until they hit. Um, very close to being equal distances. Then we just say, we, we ask them in the lab, how did those light rays get here to where your eyeball is? We literally have them draw eyeballs, because we have one big rule in all of optics that if you can see something, that means light, gets to your eye. It works with refraction, color, you know, that's an easy way to keep reminding them, why is why is a green bottle green? It's not because it's absorbing green, it's because green gets to your eye. So if you keep that one rule, right? Yeah, and you the reflected and the absorb gets them confused. You know, but if you just tell them, well, green light has to get to your eye, well then obviously green light's reflected because it's getting to your eye. Right. Yeah. So we, we keep that rule throughout. So then we say, where do these light rays come from? They must have come from the object. Place and then they just draw the lines themselves using rulers, obviously. Using rule, and what are they going to discover there? Yeah, they get the law of reflection out of there. So, this lab takes gives them location of an image and then by drawing the light rays back. Now, in honors, we don't do aiming lines, instead, <coughs> we, use, uh, we use parallax, and that's what this demo shows over here. So, what we had set up is we had three dolls set up in front here that were all the same distance in front of the mirror. And then we had three dolls behind the mirror, all at different distances. And the way the parallax works is, again, we have them uh, close, your, close one eye and then line up the two objects. Or, sorry, the image and the one behind there. And I line it up, and if I move my head one way, we teach them the thing that moves in the opposite direction is close. Well, if you want to practice, you just take your two fingers and hold them out in front of you, close one eye, and line them up so that one's hiding behind the other. And when you move your head to the left, which one moves to the right? The closer one, right? And you know, kids are then sometimes confused, so then you can just have them switch their fingers, you know, put the right one in front, and the, it, then they can realize that no matter which finger they put in front, the closer one's in, the closer one's always going to move the opposite direction. So then what we have here is these two guys are set up the same distance away, and then these guys are close. So that, uh, you know, it just kind of gives them a little reminder of the closer one always moves in the opposite direction. So that's how they want to line up their, for the, honor students to do this lab, they actually place, they do the same setup over there, they place a nail, just like we've placed a dowel rod, where they see the image. Okay, And they're actually physically putting it behind the mirror, which I mean, very soon they realize it's got to be behind the mirror. They don't start that way, don't they start actually trying to put it right on the mirror? Oh yeah. And as long as they follow their rules, they realize if I'm looking at the image, and looking at this nail that's supposed to overlap the image, clearly they're not lined up, so immediately it teaches them the image is not in the mirror. There's only one way to move it, the nail that they're uh, lining up with the image behind the mirror. 